A template series file can be used to identify templates without base of fill ditch and with base of fill ditch and control the range of stations where the base of fill ditch is applied. But that ditch, which is given, as you'll see here, a BD, base of ditch ID, can itself be guided to deepen and stretch further out from uh, the road center line based on a defined profile. So we'll do that for a certain range of the base of ditch fill. Now using a command called create profile from section file, we can pull the profile for the base of fill. And when we study it, we see that the profile at the base of fill is very gradual for the first 100 feet in our case. So what we can do is take station 100, lower it two feet for base of ditch, which gives us 871.62, and then force a 2% downhill slope. That's in 100 feet, that's two feet, to 869.62 at station zero, and force a 2% ditch at the base of fill over the first 100 feet. So we can do that by input edit profile. We'll make a new one. We'll call it uh, ditch R, ditch, ditch right. And uh, we'll replace that. And we'll come up here and go station zero, elevation 869.62. And then we'll go to station 100. We'll just control over that range and go 871.62. There's our 2%. We could have also entered 2%. Save. It's called ditch right exit. And then within the road template command, we can load um, the template point profile where we have a left ditch control through a certain zone. And we can open that. Um, let's go ahead and edit it, actually. And there's a left side one. Let's add for the base of ditch ID on the right, let's select the file ditch right, which we just created, that only affects 100 feet, apply it to the right, but hold the cross slope so it goes and extends further till it obtains that lower ditch profile elevation. Hit OK, save, hit OK again, and run it, and we'll study the, the sections that we just made. So we go to uh, the input edit section file, quickly load the final, reference the existing, and we'll look at station 100, and that's where it's meeting. Now watch how it deepens going towards station 50. You can tell the profile is getting deeper there. It's continuing the same slope of 33.3% or 3 to 1, and lastly it'll be even deeper as you can see here at station zero, and pushed further out. It's at approximate offset 50 something, and then at 100, it's because of the higher elevations, it's even further out, but we've managed to deepen it at station zero plus zero zero.